What you guys got another video here for you. Here we're going to be taking a look at five of the best app launcher docs for Windows 10. So let's first start off with the first one, which is Rocket Doc. And uh, you can get this from the link, which I'll leave in the video description. And these are a great little addition uh, to make it very quick and easy to launch your applications. Once you've got this installed, as I'll show you here, very simple and easy to install. It allows you to add your apps to the launcher, which will allow you to quickly launch those applications. Now that means you can have a much nicer, cleaner desktop by hiding all your desktop icons. It has all your uh, useful icons on the launcher here. As you can see, this PC, network, and of course I'm on a virtual machine here, but these will show your network connections, documents, and of course you can add in exactly what you want on your dock. You've got your control panel, you've got your recycle bin, you can add or remove whatever you like. Now to go into the dock settings here, there's a bunch of settings you can uh, change in here. Icons, position, uh, run at startup, you can have it sitting on the top or on the bottom or on the left or on the right. It's entirely up to you um, how you want to set that up. And of course you can set the centering and the edge offset as well. You can also mess around with the shadow and the opacity and also sh change the actual look and feel of the dock by changing the themes or skins as they're known. And you can download more of these off their website. There's a bunch of them up there and you can add it to the theme or the sort of look that you're trying to get with your actual desktop. You've also got your styles there. It's a bunch of other stuff. You've got the Get More tab there to help you get more if you wish. So let me just quickly add a couple of icons to the dock so you can see how to do it. You just drag and drop them straight in. And once you've got all your icons in there, you can clean up your taskbar and you can also clean up your desktop by hiding these icons on your desktop and your taskbar because there's no need to have them in both places. So it just makes it look nice and easy and you've got that lovely effect there which you would get on a Mac or or on a Conky on Linux. So it looks quite nice. So you can hide your icons there and you can even clean up your taskbar there. Looks quite good. And if you want to remove any icons, say for instance, show your support here or any of these icons, you can just remove them like so. So that is the Rocket Dock, which has been around for quite a while and it's quite a nice little feature to add to your operating system. Next up, we're looking at Nexus and uh, this is a uh, WinStep uh, for Nexus and it's a pretty nice little app. You can download the free version or you can pay £15 and get the ultimate version depending on what you're really after. Works with all versions of Windows. Once you've got this downloaded, just go ahead and install. So I'm just going to go into the installation folder here and start to install. Very simple process. Again, just go through the motions here. There we go. That's now installed. Now there's a bunch of other types of launchers or docks out there on the market and uh, you can choose which one you like. I just wanted to show you five which I think are some of the best. So let's open this up and you can see here this one looks quite nice as well. And you can add in your icons up here. This one gives you a little bit more um, nicer feel to it. I think the icons look really nice and clear and they're much more graphical. And you can see here we have the weather also RAM meter and a bunch of other settings up here which gives you all your useful information for your computer. You can see we've got the clock here, you've got your start menu here, you can click on this and this will open up start menu, a bunch of other things on here. Again you can right click and go to settings and remove uh, icons from here just like you can any other dock. And you can just drag and drop all your icons in, I'll just quickly show you this one, there we go. So just drag them in and you can drag in what's important to you and what's not and just remove it and keep all your useful icons up there. Clean up your desktop and also you'll be able to make it look nice and clean. So that is a pretty decent uh, docking station there for your icons. Let's move on to another one here. So I'll just quickly move on to the next one. This one's called Circle Dock. Now Circle Dock is a free tool you can download and uh, it's a different sort of approach really got a, a nice little circle feature which you can add your uh, icons to 
same sort of principle really they're all pretty much the same thing so you can see here's a bunch of files and folders inside here once you download it all you need to do is click on the circle doc uh, executable so I'm going to click on this and this will go to install now this one does need to have .NET Framework 3.5 so I'm going to let this download and automatically download from Microsoft and install on your system and you'll be able to then configure your uh, circle doc so this is the actual circle doc here same sort of principle you can change the opacity you can drag in your icons just like so and this has a circle uh, sort of feel to it it does have settings and all that sort of good stuff the same as the other ones as well which I'll show you quickly and again if you want to bring this up very quickly you can do just like so and you've got hide you've got ads you can add in stuff here you can add doc folders um, blank icons just about whatever you like really and you can position this wherever you like you've got a full customization inside their configuration uh, application here you just go into here and set it up exactly how you like it so as you can see it's fully customizable to your own needs everyone's going to have their own favorite things they like to do with their dock and you can do the same thing for yours once you've got it installed so whatever you like to do here this is where you're going to be setting it all up so once you've got it all set up how you like you can then click on the icons as you would on your desktop but they'll just be in a nice organized fashion around here so when you can see here they're all nicely labeled and when you click on these it just opens up the application that cleans up your desktop a little bit lots of keen on the circle uh, dock if I'm quite honest this is probably my best one out of the bunch which is called launchy it's been around for a while and it's a nice simple user interface basically it allows you to do quick searches for um, programs or apps on your system you got Mac OS Linux and also you've got Windows 10 7 and XP so let's get it installed and take a look and see uh, what it can actually do now I think this is a very fast way of finding stuff on your computer and launching it and getting it open it's probably one of the quickest ways I know and it's a pretty decent bit of kit so let's get this installed so I'm going to accept their terms and conditions you can have it as a portable or normal it's entirely up to you I'm going to go normal and then I'm going to install this there we go that's done now you can have it as a sticky note or any sort of icon it's entirely up to you you can see that I type note note here and just push enter so as you can see here if you type in any sort of uh, adding up like say 7 plus 7 it will tell you the answer straight away 14 now if you don't like the overall look of uh, the sticky notepad you can change this to the default one if you want let me just quickly show you how to do that I'm just going to quickly go into the settings here and change this you can also rebuild the catalog I'll show you how to do that in a second this just adds all the stuff on like the applications you got on the system so I'll quickly change this to default on here and click OK and this is the default one here we can quickly rebuild uh, the catalog this will add all the apps that are on the system to the database now when I type this in here you'll see 7 plus 7 it will tell me it's 14 straight away I don't need to open the calculator if I want to open up uh, say system information you do system info push enter and it will open up system info very quick and easy to do now because I've got it set to hide launcher you can push alt and space and this will open up the launcher and it will then allow you to type in another command you can have this on the desktop all the time but if you want to put it as like hidden once you finish using it you can do and you can see it opens up edge real quick once you type in edge and you can type in just about anything you want and the command line has always been the fastest way to open up applications on Windows and this is no exception It's really really fast now you can use the Windows search but some people don't want to use that Windows search you can type mail here you can type just about wherever you want Photoshop if you have Photoshop on there control panel and then it will open up control panel and you can see it's really quick and responsive no searching through the menu system you can just use that app by just pushing the alt and space button and it will open it up anyway that's going to be about it for this video my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk that is the five best uh, launchers that i can find or are like on the internet thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet 
hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.